Uh, hello, student. Uh, this is a series of uh, lectures in the principles of uh, chemical engineering. Uh, I am very happy to be with you again, and I hope everyone is uh, safe and have a nice uh, time. Uh, many of my students uh, ask me about uh, steady or any steady process and how to recognize and how to distinguish between these two uh, subjects. Uh, in my previous uh, videos, in my previous YouTubes, I explained the, the differences between steady and unsteady state process. But uh, some problems, some problems can be uh, solved either by uh, assuming steady or uh, unsteady state process. Therefore, in the following example, I uh, will explain how can we deal with some problems that can be solved either by steady or any steady state uh, solution. Uh, for example, you are asked to prepare a batch of 18.63% battery acid as follow. So you are asked to prepare this solution, 18.63%, by adding a new solution with 77.7% .7 sulfuric acid who will be added to the old weak solution with low concentration. Uh, this problem can be either solved by a steady state process solution and a general material balance equation can be reduced to the following form accumulation term equal to in minus out. Without generation, without consumption, because already there is no chemical reaction in the process. It is just a mixing of process or a concentration of process for weak acid to higher concentration acid. The problem also can be solved from another view, from steady state view process. In this, uh, the general uh, material balance equation will be reduced to n equal to out. So for the first assumption, any steady state uh, system or any steady state process, basis will be 200 kilogram of A, which is already given in the problem statement. Uh, then the final solution will be the required solution, which be produced from addition of old, uh, from uh, addition of a new solution with high concentration sulfuric acid to the weak or old solution. So the final minus initial, which represents the accumulation term in the tank will be equal to the in minus out. Because the tank is closed, so there is no output from the system. So two questions with two unknown can be solved easily. The second, uh, the, the, the second method by assumption of uh, a steady state so a steady state solution or a steady state of process. You can see that A, uh, which is 200 kilogram, can be added to the old or weak solution to produce the product. In this process, we, you can only uh, perform two independent material balance equation. One for sulfuric acid, and the second one for the water. The, the, third, uh, the third or total equation cannot be used because it is uh, not independent solution. 
it is already dependent on the uh, summation of equation one and equation two. But we can use this equation for checking our solution. So uh, 200 times the uh, for uh, first material balance, 200 kilogram, which represent the total stream, times the weight percent of uh, sulfuric acid plus the second input to the tank, which is unknown here, F times the weight percent of acid will be equal to the product or output, which is also unknown. The second material balance equation will be uh, for water material balance equation by similar way two questions with two unknown the problem can be solved easy easily uh, I want your uh, opinion you can uh, write in, in in a comment which method is more easy for the students which one is easy to the student uh, to solve steady or any steady state uh, system another example is about a drying uh, process in a given batch uh, of fish cake contain 80 percent water the reminder is dry cake or solid material 100 kilogram of water is removed <clears throat> and it is found that the fish cake is then 40 percent water calculate the weight of the fish cake originally put into the dryer as shown in the following figure you can see that we have wet material uh, or uh, wet fish cake with high water content uh, will be dried uh, by contacting with a stream of hot air to produce uh, a less water contained uh, cake. And this is the amount of water removed from the system. So the process is again a steady state a process uh, the, the dryer will be the dryer will be the system this is the dryer and this is the input to the dryer and we have two output from the dryer the water vapor and the dry material so this is the system boundary. This is the system boundaries. And you have A, the wood material, and you have W, amount of water removed, and uh, the product B. So input equal to output. This is the simple material balance equation. A equal to B plus W. So bone dry uh, cake balance, amount of bone dry cake is uh, 20%. So 0.2 times A equal to amount of uh, solid material or dried material is, is 60 percent air times 0.6 B. Uh, the dry material ba balance or bone dry cake balance will simplify the solution. Why? Because you can omit, you can neglect the amount of water because already water did not contain any solid material. This is a purely 100% of water, and this is uh, 100 kilogram of water. So you can use bone dry cake balance to obtain uh, a simple equation. 
uh, two questions with two unknown. Uh, the question can be the questions can be solved easily, and the final solution can be over time. Thank you for your listening, and I will be very happy to uh, to to know uh, or to inform me. Uh, your information or your comments about these two examples.